Jim, good to see you. Let's uh, just talk a little bit about where gold comes for, goes to from, uh, and what the, what the drivers are. I mean, nothing has changed from Friday before the downgrade in, uh, the, in terms of the U.S.'s fiscal position. So what's the key driver? I guess it's fear. Well, Rish, I mean, everybody has known that America is the largest debtor nation in the history of the world for a long time. This is not news. This is not even old news. It's just not news. This is not what's making the markets go down. Markets are going down because America has problems, Europe has problems, China is trying to slow things down. There are plenty of reasons for the market to go down. It's nothing to do with S&P. Right. Well, is it capitulation, and when do we know when there is capitulation? Ah, you mean when do they ring the bell, Rich? I wish <laughs> I wish I, well, you could watch Bloomberg and you can find out when they ring the bell. Normally when you see panic like this, it may be getting to a building up towards a selling climax. I'm thinking about if it does turn into a big selling climax, to cover some of my shorts or all of my shorts, because that kind of action usually leads to reversal at some point. Okay, well, you know, what was more important uh, for the market, so that downgrade or was it that uh, jobs report? Neither. I mean, anybody who's investing on the downgrade risk should not be investing. The world has known this for a long, long time. Plenty of people have warned about it. No, no, the jobs report, yes, too. That's a fact. <coughs> and I know you all have to report these kind of things. But the markets look far ahead, Bridge. Nobody who invests based on the news makes any money. The markets are looking six months to a year ahead. And when you look six months to a year ahead, there's some bad things coming. Right. Well, you know, one of them, of course, if you look that way, is what's happening in Spain and Italy. They've got $1.2 trillion uh, that they got asked the debt markets for. And we've got the Germans saying, well, hey, we don't want to play ball here. What gives? Well, wouldn't you say the same thing if you were an honest, hard-working German taxpayer? Why should you suddenly get a bill saying, hey, you've got to pay for some Italians down on the beach drinking wine? No, of course. Taxpayers, the ones in, in Europe who've been doing the right things, are getting a little agitated about all of this. Why should an honest Finnish taxpayer or an honest Dutch taxpayer or Austrian taxpayer who saved his money suddenly have to pay for people who haven't? So, do they, what does that mean for the euro? I mean, is it all game over then? <laughs> I actually own the euro. I even own the U.S. dollar, believe it or not, because everybody's so pessimistic on the U.S. dollar, including me. I'm very pessimistic on the U.S. dollar, but I own it. As I said before, when you have these kind of panics, it usually leads to a reversal, at least for a while. So I own commodities. I own real assets, especially agriculture and gold and silver. That's what I hope will protect me if, if things go really wrong. Rich, what's going to happen is they're going to print more money. In the United States, the head of the central bank doesn't know economics or finance or currencies. All he knows is printing money. He's going to print more money, and that's good for real assets. Right, but, you know, what does it mean? Okay, we've had QE1, as you say, printing money. We've had QE2. We've had fiscal stimulus. We've had ring fencing, liquidity provisioning, bank bailouts. We've also had, of course, uh, all efforts to try and trigger asset reflation here. You know, zero rates on top of that in the mix. There's nothing left, is there? Thank goodness that you noticed that. I hope that the people in Washington noticed that, too. It, none of that's worked. As, as I've discussed with you all before, it's not going to work. The only thing that works is to face reality, let people who are bankrupt go bankrupt. The Japanese tried it this way. Rich, they have not let anybody go bankrupt for 20 years. You remember zombie banks, zombie companies. The Japanese stock market is 75% below where it was 21 years ago. This system doesn't work. The Americans are going to have already had one lost decade. We're going to have two lost decades or three lost decades at the rate things are going. So just get us uh, in line with what you're thinking. If you're an Asian investor, do you continue with your play into agricultural commodities such as you're doing here? Does gold keep on going up and up and up? What about silver? Where else are you? Well, gold and silver certainly, you know, they're going up too far too fast right now. I'm, I'm worried about that. I'm not, I'm not going to sell my gold or silver. But uh, when, they, when something shoots straight up, it usually has a correction. So I hope it does so that I can buy more gold and silver. I, if gold and silver go down, Rich, I'm going to buy more. Because gold and silver over the next few years is going to go much, are going to go much, much higher. Likewise with agricultural commodities. Okay, where do we go from here? Go on. 
Well, Rich, if the markets continue to collapse, you just pointed out they're down five days in a row. Rarely in history have markets gone down as many as nine days in a row. So if this uh, accelerates and crescendos, I anyway will cover my, some of my shorts, maybe all of my shorts, and then I will look for things to buy. And it looks to me like as, as commodities keep getting beaten down, then that's what I would put my money into because they're going to print money. Mr. Uh, what's his name, the head of the central bank, Bernanke in America, he doesn't understand economics. All he understands is printing money. We have given him the printing presses. He has said repeatedly, if you want to understand 21st century, century central banking, you need to understand we control the printing presses and we will run them as fast as we have to. As you and I discussed, it's the wrong thing to do, but that's what he knows and that's what he'll do. But, uh, you know, are you saying there'll be another round of, uh, well, printing of money, if you will, in the QE3? And uh, what would that mean, particularly for Asia? Will we see again that wall of money not doing its job in the U.S., but ending up in this part of the world in Asia? We're going to have more inflation rich in the world. It's whether we like it or not, because then whenever history, history shows that whenever people have printed money, it leads to more inflation. We already have inflation. There's going to be more of it. I don't like saying that. It's not good for the world. It's going to cause social unrest. You saw in the UK this weekend they had huge social unrest there. More social unrest is coming. More problems are coming. But it doesn't have. You just prepare yourself for it, and you'll be okay. Okay. Well, I don't think that. The, well, Britain, you could argue it was down to a political or a shooting of an individual. But let's just talk a little bit about here, this part of the world. Okay, we get worse inflation if we get more printing of money, but where other, in other parts of the world, they actually do need a reflation of some asset prices, so it can actually do some good there. No, no, Rich. What you have to do, look, in the early 90s, when Japan said we're going to prop up zombie banks and zombie companies, they kept doing it, and the Japanese stock market is down 75% from 20 years ago. At the same time, Scandinavia had the same problem. They let people go bankrupt. They had a horrible three years. They reorganized, started over, and since then, Scandinavia has been booming for nearly 15 or 20 years. Likewise with Russia, Mexico, South Korea. Lots of people have been faced with this problem. They bite the bullet, they take the pain, they accept reality, reorganize, and start over. That's the only way it's going to work. Denying reality has never, ever worked, and it will not work in America this time either.